So, are you ready for the rapid fire round? Yeah, let's do it. All right, your time will start as soon as I stop asking the first question. Have you ever collaborated with law enforcement on a case? No. Do you think cybersecurity jobs are stressful? Yes, I believe so. Is it better to be a specialist or a generalist? Uh, it's better to be a specialist. Most overused cybersecurity buzzword? I'll pass on that. <laughs> Have you ever ran into an ethical dilemma while working in an offense security role? Yes or no? Yes. Most overused cybersecurity buzzword? I'll pass that to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, I actually asked that question on episode one, actually, and uh, yeah. the most ever used cybersecurity buzzword um, for the episode was zero trust, and that's my mm. preferred cybersecurity buzzword. But if I had to come up with a second one, that is hard. That is a hard question because, like, I think it's zero trust, but I'm trying to think of another one that's not zero trust because we already talked about zero trust on the show. So let me think here. Let me. Hmm. Yeah, I'm drawing a blank. I think I think zero trust is is my favorite one. Um, most overused cybersecurity buzzword. Maybe maybe AI, artificial intelligence. Maybe that might be one you could throw in there. But I I think AI is truly the future. So I don't think put putting it in a buzzword category Sweet, is yeah. fair. But it definitely can be used as buzzword because there's a lot of people that yes. you know they talk about AI, but it's not really AI. It's kind of just like a yeah. program, you know, that does things. Right, because there's definitely <laughs> a lot of products out there that say, "Yeah, we have AI in our product, but uh, we don't um, yes, actually know fun. what AI really is." So, your most interesting response, I would say, "Do you think cybersecurity jobs are stressful?" So, I want to know why you think cybersecurity jobs are stressful. Uh, cybersecurity jobs are stressful, is it because? I'm currently working in the cybersecurity field and I can say from my experience, especially on the offensive security side, due to the fact that it's very, very challenging, makes it stressful. Uh, let me use the example as a red teamer, you have to stay up to date every time you are emulating threat actors. So if you are trying to emulate the threat actors, you are trying to go over above and beyond shifting away from your comfort zone staying up to a night you know learning stuff that alone is very very stressful you know combine different skills trying to learn malware development trying to learn coding trying to you know learn how to bypass invasion techniques and all those things can make the job very very stressful that's why i said it's very very stressful from my experience and i would say most of the time this is why uh, it's very very important to take breaks so just to get refreshed get your brain refreshed get your mind refreshed and if it's not that stressful then i would say cyber security uh, because I, I can categorize say from my own uh, field uh, i don't want to talk on behalf of someone else but from my own experience working as a offense or working in the offensive security space is it's very very stressful for me even though i find it interesting because i love what i'm doing so i that helped me not to think about the stress uh because i enjoy what i'm doing and i'm learning every time learning more about it so that helped me you know uh i do the stressful part of it but overall i would say cyber security is very very stressful uh, it's a very very stressful field uh, to be in. Uh, if you don't have the mind, if you are not ready, I always tell people, especially people who are upcoming, prepare your mind. It's not an easy peasy, or it's not. It's, it will be an easy journey. But trust me, if you put your mind and effort, and you always aspire to learn, definitely it will come true. But overall, once again, it's very very stressful field. Great insights. Yeah, I agree with you there. Uh... It is stressful from my perspective. It's stressful because, you know, I, I'm, uh, I work in consulting, so I'm doing, you know, uh, a, a one week or a two week engagement, sometimes three. So I'm just doing back to back to back to back pen tests. And every time is a new environment. So I have to learn this whole new environment every time. And then it's stressful because it's like you don't know if you're missing something. You know what I mean? You can never know. 
you know, like, you know, I did all my tricks that I know, but I don't know everything about everything. <laughs> so I might have missed something and I probably did miss something. And that stresses me out, you know, and then yeah. you got deadlines on, and report writing. And you know, like, I uh, like, did I write this the right way? Is this clear? Is this understandable? Like, it makes sense to me, but does it make sense to the person going to read this report? And then, yeah, it's, it's a it's a lot. And then on top of that, like you said, there's a lot to learn and there's a million different you know, courses or different, and uh, there's there's like 450 different certifications out there. It's like, well, which ones do I go after? What certifications do I actually do? Which courses do I actually do? And it's overwhelming because there's so many options and it's impossible to know everything about everything. And uh, that's what makes it hard, in my opinion, and, and stressful. Um, you know, I used, like I said earlier in an episode, like I used to work on oil refineries and that's like a like when I worked in, there, like it's stressful because like, you know, it's hazardous to my health and like it's it's a dangerous profession. So I don't have that kind of stress anymore. You know, I work in an office and, uh, you know, I'm not really worried about getting uh, uh, mesothelioma anymore and I'm not worried about getting lead poisoning anymore. But at the same time, you know, I still have to, well, what I worry about now is like, oh, am I getting out of shape? Because, you know, when I worked a manual labor job, like I was, you know, always doing the activity outside and now yeah. i'm like well am i working out enough so it's a different kind of stress you know it's a, it, it for sure is stressful sticking with the realm of certifications here so if you so you have a lot if you had to choose just one like if someone just like was trying to get their first pen testing job like what is the cert that's going to help them the most like either get the job and then you know be an all-star you know day one on the job <laughs> Uh, that's, a, that's a loaded question. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's a very tough question. Um, based you on can write a few if you need to. Okay, um, yeah, based on my experience with all the certifications that I have, if I recommend one in terms of getting a job, bringing out the best in yourself in, t in the job environment, uh, I would say CPTS. I recommend CPTS. The only downside on CPTS is it's still very it's still very new, you know. So I think it was I think, I'm not sure if it's almost two years. If it's two years already, so it's still pretty much new certification, which need a lot of you know time to get recognized by uh, you know HR and you know, potential employers and all uh, that. But CPTS is the I would recommend the the certification for you know if you want to hit the ground running whenever you you know land a job it's it's definitely the right certification. I will have said OSCP but <laughs> OSCP is uh, it's not as tough as uh, CPTS and even though the exam is structured differently um, but in terms of getting the you know the required skill getting the required skill i will still pick cpts because it simulates reward penetration testing compared to scp that is kind of more of ctf like i enjoy the active director environment in no scp it's, even though it's a very small lab environment compared to cpt but it's it was challenging for me now when i did it so but to answer your question once again, I would still recommend CPTS so far. That's another one for CPTS, everyone. Uh, yeah, you're not the first person to you know highly recommend CPTS. Everyone speaks extremely highly of it. Yeah. And uh, the thing I keep running into is like, yeah, the only downside is it's new and not a lot of uh, HR people know about it yet. Yeah. But it's catching up to the OSCP very fast. It sounds like so. Sounds like I need to get on the CBTS immediately to level up my pen testing game for sure. That'd be fun. <laughs> Out of all your certs, what what was the most challenging certification? Um, like, how, how, like which which one gave you the most trouble? Like, which one did you fail the most, or which one did you almost fail? Like, talk about like the like the hardest one. <sighs> the hardest one so far. <laughs> I think CPTS. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's CPTS. Um, I know I've done a lot of certifications. Um, I've I've run through a lot of challenges in a lot of those certifications. Even in OSCP, I I remember when I was doing the Active Directory Lab. Uh, when I, I, I saw the standard law machine, I was working on the, act, the, the, the Active Directory, and I spent about 
six hours on it without even getting, you know, having a perfect direction to go. So it was challenging as well. But CPTS is on another level. Uh, I almost failed it. Reason is because I, I know the exam is about 10 days. I was able to finish the lab on the ninth day. And I have only one day to write report. <laughs> so oh, wow. it was very, 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 very challenging. Uh, CPTS is the most challenging as, as you know, certification I've ever written so far. I will rate it at the top. Then maybe I can now say after that, I'll still pick CRTO. Then before we CP. Even uh, the Healing Security Certified Pension Testing and Stream, that one also is on another level. All those certifications have, <laughs> they are very, very crazy on their own different levels. But the challenging, most challenging certification is CP test for me personally. All right, so that's good to know. Yeah, just another another point for CPTS. It just keeps racking them up. It keeps <laughs> slanting all, all those other ones. <laughs> Watch the full podcast. Link in description.